to school? We go to school. Uh, y'all ever ate them school lunches? Because, you know, we eat the lunches. Now, for all y'all that don't eat the lunches, yeah, we understand. Because you ever uh, ask a lunch lady, what's this? Anybody ever get a straight answer? You ever get a straight answer on what's this when you ask a lunch lady? No, she'd be like, do you want it or no? Exactly. I've seen it. I've seen Somebody said, can I get this pizza? It was somebody foreign, right? They're like, let me get a slice of pizza. They were like, oh, no, that's pepperoni. I can't eat that. The lunch lady like, oh, it's not real pepperoni. It's turkey. So, they don't know what the freak on that pizza. They gonna tell you whatever it is to get the pizza or whatever else it is out the lunchroom. Everything on the pizza is mystery meat. Even stuff that ain't meat is still mystery meat. Like, you, how, how you feel about this? About about this stuff they've been they've been feeding us for the, our last like twelve years of our life. Well, I think we need to call it the Humane Society or some type of lawsuit needs to be filed against these lunch ladies because and the principals because y'all never looked at the lunchroom menu back in the day when we was actually getting those and it said mystery meat will be served on like wednesday why is it a mystery what the freak am i putting in my body why is it such a mystery like i mean i know it was made in the lab all food we eat anyway is made in the freaking lab my thing is why specifically do they have to feed us the bastard like, alright, the other day I was in lunch line, and it was this piece of chicken breast. The bread don't even look real. Nothing that they serve is real, but the chicken breast especially. They put it on the bread, they gave it to me. And sometimes you feel nice, you want to make the lunch lady feel nice too, so you like, you know, have a nice day or something like that. And then straight face, she would say, next. So I'm like, fuck it then. So after that, I go to sit down, I'm at the table, I take a bite into the sandwich. The bread is hard as a brick, so I had to take the bread, take take the actual meat off the bread, and then eat that separately. Barbecue sauce. I take a bite into the actual meat, and the bottom half of it was cold, and it was thicker than the actual meat. So I'm like, I I don't know what what the, what is this? First of all, what part of the chicken did this come from? Second of all. Where the hell is the seasoning if y'all gonna serve us something this out of out of whack? Like and and then why the heck is the bottom half of the bread cold and the top half is steaming hot? Was it just like on that side the entire time? I I just I don't appreciate the fact that we get fed the bad stuff while it's a McDonald's, White Castle, Subway, right down the freaking street from the school. And if they if they that uh, worried about safety, then allow us to go to the store and come back. Alright, they got pizza at the store, they got chicken at the store, they got uh, wedges at the store, they got pop, they got the good stuff. Or matter of fact, if they that worried about it, bring back the chicken, bring back the pizza, bring back the good stuff that we was allowed to eat. Exactly. Now, they didn't took away everything that the people do eat. Because some people, they don't eat the school lunch. And everybody... Now I'm gonna say everybody don't got that, uh, don't got like that. So people will reduce lunch, okay? Why are you serving the people that already can't afford to buy lunch prison food? Are you saying because we are we already have to eat the school lunch? Like we're probably going to go to prison. Like I mean, they get fed three square meals a day in prison, right? Well, why do we eat the same thing they do? Hold on, let me interrupt you real quick. I think you know how some. Uh, high school says a uh, high or college preparatory. College prep. Yeah, yeah. college prep school. Yep. I, I I call bullshit. Cause when you go to college, don't they serve you? Don't they have like this, like variety of foods that you can eat? It's just not even like, the food. Think about this, community service. The food that they serve us. The the fact that we're not allowed to leave the school. The fact that we're not allowed to go in the hallway. The fact that we're not to leave the classrooms. Don't that sound like prison to y'all? Just just a little bit. And then recess? What is that, yard time in prison? Yeah, See, we don't system, even get recess anymore. We're, we don't, we're basically in solitary confinement. I, I agree. It's it's like, they, don't, they, they, they mask it as a college prep. But in college, aren't you allowed to go to class when you want to? In college, yep. aren't you allowed free time? Aren't you also allowed the option to do your homework and not, you know... 
have to worry about teachers flipping out on you? And in college, aren't you also allowed to walk out when and how you want to? And in college, aren't you allowed to dress the way that you want to dress? But sure. in prison, you have to have a uniform, right? Yep. In school, what do we have? Uniform. So, mm. I, I, I don't understand why they be lying, man. Like, the government just ain't right to me. But that back to what we was talking about lunch-wise yes. and yes. stuff. Okay, not only is the food Wait, Did you bad, cut me off? You cut me off. You cut me off. Go ahead. I'm going to finish. Now, my bad. Now, they serve us this the most generic chicken patty ever that we know came from no part of any chicken mm. or probably any animal at all. But you don't have the decency to cook this paste well. Yeah. Like when I bite into my chicken or whatever it is, but when I bite into my chicken and I'll look at it, should it at least be white? Why is it pink? And the hot dogs, the hot, every hot dog I've ever gotten from school was a combination of pink and green. It looks like a bad Nicki Minaj wig. Like, <laughs> no, like no lie. Like a Mountain Dew can or something just poured into that freaking hot dog. It's like why? What did we do to deserve this? <laughs> Somebody explain explain this. I'm I'm done. I'm done. What was what was you gonna say? I'm done. I was just gonna say that outrage. I was just gonna say outrage. that outrage. The fact that not only is the food bad, but the lunch outrage and the servers are just beyond believable like nigga first of all they had these hairnets right but yet every time i get a fucking plate it'd be some damn hair in the food so why do y'all wear hairnets if the shit don't stop y'all hair from falling off i mean i know y'all going through that menopause stage where you're shedding and all of that but dog do wear a hat or something freaking do rag something to keep your hair out of my food because sometimes i be hungry to the point where it's just like Whatever they're serving isn't going to be good, but I'm going to eat it. So if I'm going to eat it, can you please have the decency to not try to kill me? Because, like, I, I don't know if you got hair lice or crabs or whatever, but <laughs> whatever you got, just keep the shit out of my food, man. I don't want it. I didn't ask for it, so don't make it seem like, don't get an attitude when I say, why is there hair in my food? Like, have you ever got something with hair in your food? Hey, tell me why I got this. Now, the corn at the school is never good. It has no butter, no taste, whatever. It tastes like water on regular corn with nothing on it. Now, it's just like a long hair in my corn one day. Like, my beard is only so long. My hair is usually never this long. Why? Is there a good two inch piece of hair just swirling around in my corn looking like a piece of sperm on the way to a net? Do you? Explain that to me. And you ever had that lunch lady? Like, I know you had this lunch lady because I had this lunch lady. The lunch lady that don't know what the same thing is, as in, they say, let me get the chicken and the potatoes. She gives it to him, and you say, can I get the same thing they just got? She say, what? What's she that? Say, Same thing. What's that? Nigga, whose short-term memory loss comes that fast? So my question is, why are we the ones in school when these niggas that serving us the food can't remember shit? Are they also eating the same thing? Is this what's going to happen when I get their age? Like, nigga, same thing. Two simple words. It's, it's what, nine letters in the two words all there? T-H-A-N-G. S A M E nine nine, two words, two simple meanings. Word one, same, not different, same, similar, thing, thing, object, the subject of the sentence. Is it that hard to remember? I understand you're a lunch lady. I know you ain't get that far in life or school, but you don't understand the same thing. How did you fill out your application? <laughs> are they just hiring the cousin of the first lunch lady? I think I think they're all related. Because I noticed that all the black ones that, that work at Cass, they all got mustaches. They um, all look alike, don't they? They all look the short and brown. And then yep. the light-skinned ones, 
just look like the second cousins of the first ones. Like they like they just needed a job, so they're like, I'm gonna get you this job at this school, baby. You F it up, I'm kicking you and all thirteen of your kids out. And I got one question. I don't know if y'all never noticed this at y'all school. I don't know how y'all school do this, but I know it's at Cavs and any other school I ever went to. They have no dudes serving lunch. No mm -hmm. dudes have ever served me lunch and like at all. Like it's all Sexist. men and women. Like what what is up with the system that Dudes can't serve food. I mean, alright, maybe some dudes don't want to. Maybe that's the women's job. But do they have to cook and serve? Like, damn. I, most people that, most of the guys that work at Cass are bald head anyway. They don't have hair, so I think if... I prefer them serving my food. Exactly. Ain't nothing gonna fall in it. If it is, it must be a pube. I don't know why. I don't know. I think, the, I think they put the things up above waist level. I'm just saying that that's the only thing it could be. And we know niggas ain't that nasty to do that at, in black schools. So they know niggas would be fighting over that shit. White people, they just sue and then that's it. So, yeah. And, I mean, that's the same thing with the lunch ladies and the teachers. I've only ha I only have one male teacher right now. So, but... Wait, do I have... Yep, my first hour and my seventh hour. That's it. So all, all ladies in, the, in between there. And one more... One more. The final lunchroom nightmare. The lunch aids. You got the lunch ladies that serve you the food. Oh, the lunch shit. aides that walk around. I remember being in elementary school. When you, the lunch aides was the ones that took you outside, right? You couldn't do crap. You had the like, one lunch aide that was always cool. You had the one, don't go over there, don't go on this side of the field, don't do that, don't do this. No matter what you do, always on your head. Prison. Prison. Why we got guards watching this? Why you can't clean off the table? You a lunch aide, why you can't clean off the table? And why you don't know how to let people in the lunch line? Like, let people in the lunchroom. Like, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Here's the thing. It's two things about these lunch, lay, lunch aids, and then I'm, I'm done. First thing is, okay, they, uh, what they do? You can't leave the dang on lunchroom. It's my lunch period, and I'm going to roam around the school. It ain't like I'm about to plant a bomb or something. Just let me free. Then... They want to get mad when people don't get in lines. It'd be a bunch of people, like, gathered in the front of the line cutting and stuff. It's like, okay, it's this line here, and then it's this line for us because these people trying to cut. And then that line creates another one. That creates another one. They know it's going to get like that, and then they get pissed off. It's like, well, just let us go because we're going to end up having to get in the line anyway to get the food. Exactly. You can only serve one person at a time. And then, and then another thing that they do, when the lunch lines get out of control, I don't know if you notice this, they cancel out the snacks yep. that give them money. So how is that helping? How is that uh, hurting us? Well, I mean, we still got the stove. Yeah. That got better stuff. Their cookies is better than y'all's. They pizza exists. Hey, wait, wait, wait. How much do you pay for some cookies at the, at the school? Dollar. How many cookies? Two. How much you pay at the stove? Dollar. How many cookies? Fucking pack. Oh. But, but who, who's confused? You're not going to accept our money, but we... We gonna still have the money. We're still gonna spend the money. Just not with y'all. So y'all lose the money by not by not allowing us to buy stuff. So how is that a punishment? To me, I, I really don't know. Exactly. That's, That's like, like I'm gonna get something better and you're gonna get that, nothing. Here here's another analogy that, that can fit. It's the twenty first century, right? Yep. I'm in the right century, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Just making sure. Now that's like your parents not taking anything away from you but saying go to your room when you get in trouble. Nigga. Yeah. Fine then. Thank you. In terms, in the lunch line, um, we gonna cast a lot of snacks tomorrow. In terms of that, in other words, go to the store. Bring and I know bring a lot of people that go to the store during school anyway, because I'm not gonna tell y'all the secret to that because we care about the people yeah, in our school. We, we not gonna we not that. snitches. And we ain't snitches get sti snitches get yeah, stitches. What, what you say? And mm -hmm. uh, they get they. They get kicked in the britches, if you understand what that means. Yeah, because we got some thugs to be honest. But look, back to the subject I had. Lunch aids. Lunch aids. Y'all have. Get a life. Get, get, get a life. What do one line have to do with you? You took the job. You understand what comes with that. Your job is to clean. Your job is to clean the tables and have the gate open so that we can enter Ooh. the lunch room. Enter the part where we get our food. You have absolutely no business, no life, no nothing to do with anything else that we do. As long as we get our food, your job is done. So shut up.
One last thing. Here, here's what I don't understand about Cass. Why does it take a half an hour to open the damn gate? Why don't y'all leave the gate open? Exactly. Like, he was if, serving food. If y'all don't stop people from going in the gate, why don't y'all just leave it open and then stop people that way? Or just don't have the food ready? Like, it's not that hard. Like, oh, hard freaking God. Then they close it towards the end of the lunch hour. Like, why? You was serving food already. You still what, When what? I get here, is it should be food ready. Is there something going on behind them closed gates that we need not to know about? Because, I mean, other than that, yes. I don't see nothing them wrong with opening it. Cooking paste and everything else that I'd rather have a mystery meat. I'd rather have McDonald's. Even even though I still don't know what BNA food, it still tastes better. Exactly. But get us some vending machines, something. Enough is enough. We've talked for at least 30 minutes. So we will catch y'all on the next video. Don't go to prison, you'll just get more school. Yep. And uh that's about it for this video. So leave us questions for our next ask us. Leave us questions, even though we already said this, same shirt, same snapback. Now, last but not least, leave comments on what y'all hate about going to school and lunch lines. And we will catch y'all in the next episode. Oh yeah, and if you want us to dish your school, just leave the name of your school down there in the comments. We'll happily leave a, a, and a, and a, a brief shout description, out on just how in case much your school sucks. About it. Yeah, tell us what you don't like about it. And we will be sure to voice your opinion for you. Even though you're on the internet. And but you can tell us to remain, that you would like to remain anonymous. We will still dish your school for you. We won't say any names. We will just talk about your school. Unless you don't care. But if you like this video, like that boy on up. Subscribe to our channel. Hit that subscribe button. Please. Show your friends. Your Show family. your friends. Share. Strangers. Show the homeless people. They might get a kick out of it too. Yeah. Alright. Deuces. Tiptoeing in my journey.